It's Eastern Conference time for the traveling Indiana Pacers today. Bucks looking to make the most out of their home court advantage here at the BMO Harris Bradley Center in Milwaukee. Thanks for tuning in everyone to this broadcast of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Tip off goes to Milwaukee. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. George Hill out there with Ellis. Then it's Paul George. Then there's Allen. And it's Mahimi in at the five. Now here's Monroe. Pass to Middleton. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Allen. Ellis against Middleton. Allen left side. Outside, George. Five to shoot. And it comes off the front of the rim. You know, no doubt last year, a bit of a loss for Paul George. I mean, he had to sit out most of it after that gruesome leg injury in the Team USA scrimmage. And thinking back on George's injury, still a very graphic image in everyone's mind, but he was able to bounce back. Yeah, it was great to see him get some game time before the end of the season after that horrific injury. A credit to him working as hard as he did, as well as to the training staff that got him back to be able to play before the end of the season. And Jabari Parker as a rookie, drafted number two overall behind Andrew Wiggins. Clark, there was much debate about which of these players, which of these prospects would be better NBA players? What do you think? Well, I think both show they're very capable of being stars in the league. Parker got off to a great start, averaging 30 minutes a game until, unfortunately, he had ACL. And Wiggins, conversely, went on to have a big-time season, winning Rookie of the Year. Here's Hill, following the bucket by the Bucks. It's Ellis on the wing. Outside, George. That doesn't go either for George. And, and when you compare Wiggins and, and Parker, really two different types of players. I mean, Wiggins has that unmatchable athleticism. Parker beats you with an incredible skill and passion. Also, tremendous maturity for such a young player. The shot by George, wide open. That doesn't go either for George. Not looking good for him so far. Four straight misses to start the game. Onda Takumbo kicks to Monroe. Here's Parker. Back to Onda Takumbo. It's rebounded by Indiana. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones. A long time without a basket. I got to find something. You're right. Screen by Ellis. Mahimi dishes to Hill. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And, you know, going back to Parker versus Wiggins, guys, I mean, that debate could last a long time. Both guys have the look of perennial all-stars. It could be the number of championship rings that ultimately separates. Monroe wide open and a great assist by Carter Williams as that one goes in. You can't give him that shot. A few open books are all it takes to get him in the zone. Parker against Hill. From 15 feet away, nobody near Allen. From the top of the key, he buries it. You know, he almost pulled the trigger on that possession, but recognized that there was a better option. That's what we mean by playing for your teammates. Now, here's Anadikumbo. Kicks it to Parker. Tries from 10, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. They've got themselves in front with some outstanding shooting right off the bat. It's been a complete technical dominant performance out here. They are in a zone. Hill with it. He's picked up by Parker. It's tipped. Now here's Middleton. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Carter Williams, the pass to Monroe. Now the feed to Parker. And that one's good. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. I mean, that was a freebie. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. And when it comes to Michael Carter Williams, guys, I feel like people either love him or they don't buy him at all. I mean, he has the size, he's a good athlete, he plays hard. So he's also had some injuries, and he's been very inconsistent at times. 
A platoon swap here for Milwaukee. Pacers trail by eight. Lawson kicks to Stucky. Some nice passing here by Indiana. 104 left in the first quarter. A, a little ambitious on that possession, trying to hit a shot in the face of that defensive pressure. Bayless dishes to Mayo, and that comes off the assist by Jared Bayless. Mayo's got his first two points of the night. And it's like raining buckets right now. I wonder if this is the early stages of a blowout. Well, we've got to be careful. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves just yet. But it has been pretty ugly so far, no doubt about that. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first. Now Bayless. There's the pick. Four on the shot clock. Here's Vaughn. That misses off the backboard. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. On the wing, Turner tries from 16. Shot is off. Excellent D there for Mayo. And released it in time, but it's off the mark. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Bucks lead by eight. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. Not enough firepower to be able to sustain with the elite teams, uh, say like the Warriors or the Rockets. Ty Lawson, a, a solid, dependable player in our league, but this is still a league where you need your superstars to win rings. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. When you consider how the Bucks are doing, what do you guys think? It's all about their defense. They have just done a terrific job of negating the timing and spacing of their opponent. Every shot is challenged and challenged well. They've got under Tacumbo. Michael Carter-Williams is out there with Vasquez. Then it's Greg Monroe, and it's Henson in at the power forward. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. That is good. C.J. Miles. Miles has got his first basket. Really aggressive play there, taking it to the rack against the big fella. You know, Greg, aggressiveness is really the only option when you're on the wrong side of the size equation. Now here's Ade Dekumbo. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And what a double-double machine Greg Monroe is becoming. Top six for power forwards last season. Top five for centers. And his game is only continuing to evolve. Well, Greg, the thing about Monroe, we knew he was a prolific scorer and a rebounder when he was a five-star recruit out of high school. So, so, Clark, this is nothing new for him. I think what you see, Kevin, is the added muscle coming into play and benefiting. He's just an average athlete, but being stronger makes him more effective. Now, here is Hill. Cans it from downtown. Hill's got his second basket of the night. Still trailing, but their offense is off life support here in the second quarter. It's got a pulse. Good point, Clark. They're starting to make some shots, looking to try and get back in this one. Tell you what, he can do a lot more damage to that rim than that when he wants to. And you know, Clark, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Me too. Well, well I'll tell you what, I'm glad he didn't, because otherwise we'd probably have a 45-minute delay here if he shattered the backboard. Here's Carter Williams after the made shot from Monte Ellis. Parker against Turner. And Parker, here we go. No luck. And Indiana will come the other way. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Ellis against Carter Williams. Now here's Ellis. D right on him. Here's Mahimi. Rebound by Craig Monroe. Bucks leading by seven. Yeah, I think everyone knew the Bucks would be much improved last season, but, but to see the jump into the middle 
of the playoff picture. I think that took everybody by surprise. Now here's Parker over George and no good trying to use the glass. Down low here's Hill it's deflected. Outside out of the Kumbo. Right wing. Carter Williams the pass to Parker. Back to Carter Williams. And it's good in the assist by Parker. Carter Williams has got his second basket of the game. For the Bucs, their improvement, usually you see incremental progress. Even after losing key players, Clark, they, they shot up the standing. And part of that, Kevin, was just growing as a team, coming together, and also improving the roster. Another part was that they were better than their record showed two years ago. Player development is part of the improvement. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucs, Miles Plumley's checked in for Monroe. Mayo comes in for Chris Middleton. And Jared Bayless subbed in for Michael Carter-Williams. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Allen's checked in for Turner. Solomon Hill comes in for George. Rodney Stuckey's checked in for Monte Ellis. And Ty Lawson subbed in for Hill. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. You know, Clark, the one thing you can say about Ty Lawson is his awareness around the floor. He's just ubiquitous, and his court vision is incredible. Excellent peripheral vision. He averaged almost 10 assists a game last season. That's the best year of his career thus far. And for Ty Lawson, playmaking isn't a concern. He's got that. His shooting accuracy, though, seems to drop every year. In fact, the last two years have been the worst of his career. And that one's good. Parker. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball move. Allen outside. 119 left in the first half. Stuckey kicks to Hill. And a miss there on the triple. Yeah, you know, going back to Lawson's decline in shooting percentage, really no apparent reason for it. Last year, he launched the fewest threes in his past four seasons. But he still couldn't find a rhythm, and it really hurt his team down the stretch. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And oh. hammering down with the two-handed slam. Just piling on the lead with the dunk like that. Allen outside. He feeds it to Stuckey. Right side hill. There's 45 seconds left to play in the first half. Lawson drives in, and the Pacers can't get it to go. You've got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. They've done a lot of things well today, but really it's about what they've done on the backboard that's at the top of that list. Pacers trail by 10. Here's Stuckey. And so it looks like the Pacers will retain possession here. And some changes here for the Bucks. Henson comes in for Jabari Parker. And it's Vasquez in for Jared Bayless. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for Indiana. Here is Miles. There's the dish to Stuckey. Allen with the screen for Stuckey. Pass to Allen. Shot is off. Excellent D there for Mayo. That's tipped. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Vasquez. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Vasquez has got his first basket of the night. Just a great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, you know, exploding to the basket like that, Greg, just as soon as that ball was going the other way. That's um, exactly how you want to do it. And so that's the end of the first half.